Harbor Freight sells this infrared thermometer. Syntec infrared thermometer. It gives a serial number, and I'm sure that that's for recalls and things like that, but it seems a serial number on a $14 item seems extravagant. Try to get one of the lights. The light is 172 degrees, 170 degrees. The light is 170 degrees, roughly. You first turn it on, it's going to come up in Celsius by default. I haven't found a way to change that. So I'll simply hit it again. Now give me Fahrenheit, 32 degrees. So since I'm not pressing the trigger to measure anything, I take it that 32 degrees is the ambient temperature in the room. So as soon as I hit that, it's going to measure the temperature of the surface of that wood in front of it. The actual temperature of the wood is going to be 54.5 degrees. So the ambient temperature is 32, that wood is 54. I have a feeling that's because of all of the lights I have shining on this to, to, make, these, uh, to make these videos. It has an odd way of doing the battery. The entire handle slips off. Two triple A's in there. Kind of strange way to do a battery cover, but it works, so you got to go with that. I bought this at Harbor Freight for about $14. It was Super Coupon or some sale that they have. It's item number 60725. I bought this for two things. First off, I wanted to be able to check the temperature coming out of the air conditioning vents and compare that to the temperature of the air going into the air return for the air conditioner. Apparently that's supposed to be about 20 degrees and I wanted to verify that and if it's the higher temperature differential that is, the more efficient your air conditioner is working. If it's very close together, then it's not working very well. So I wanted to know that since we just bought a new house. The other thing I wanted to do with it was measure the temperature of steel that I would heat up in some type of a foundry or a forge. Turns out it doesn't go high enough. It doesn't say anywhere on it what temperature it goes to. But when you look at the manual, it says the temperature is only about a thousand degrees. When you heat up a piece of steel, it's going to go well above a thousand degrees. So I couldn't use it for that. So Basically, all I've been using it for is to test the air conditioner in the house. I'm sure there are other uses, how hot your car is running, different things like that. But I only have one practical purpose, but it does what it's supposed to do. It measures the temperature. One thing I thought was odd is there are threads inside of this. Like there is an attachment that screws in there. I haven't been able to see anything that that attaches to that, but obviously there is some reason that's there. Okay, this is the Syntec brand at Harbor Freight Sales. There's a manufacturer in China somewhere that makes these and sells them to multiple distributors because I see them advertised every now and then with different name brands on them, but it's obviously the same, it's obviously the same device. It has a feature. It tells you to hold, meaning press the, it says hold right there. That tells you to press the trigger to actually use it. And what it's going to do is start measuring the temperature when you pull the trigger, and it's going to give you a max. That max tells you the max temperature that it's held. So if, there, if the temperature is changing of what you're testing, it will tell you what the max was and what the current is. I always use Fahrenheit, so I wish it would come up as Fahrenheit, but that's a small thing to switch it. Okay, the outside wall is one degree colder. Except for using it to test the uh, air conditioner output, it's really just a toy. I hate to say that, but it's true. Okay, for me, I wanted to be able to test the output of the air conditioner so that when the air conditioner guy came by and said, your system's not working correctly, I could say, well, based on that, it is. Uh, for $14, that was kind of worth it. So if you want to have a toy to play around with what temperatures are, or if you want to test your AC, the temperature of your car, you know, who knows? Whatever you want to test. For $14, I think that's a nice little price for a toy. 
with some practical uses, but in reality, it kind of is just a toy. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.